Tonight, Davis School District leaders are sharing updates in the bullying investigation of an elementary student who took her own life a week and a half ago. Ten-year-old Izzy Tishner's family says it was because of racism and bullying she faced at Foxborough Elementary School. Fox 13's Emily Tenser has the latest on the district's intent to now change. Davis School Board President John Robison says district employees have met every day since Izzy's death. He says the district is taking this tragedy very seriously. At tonight's board meeting, he and the superintendent detailed the changes they wish to see, as well as diversity and inclusion efforts they hope can, quote, aggressively attack the racism seen in society and schools. For the first time since the death of 10 year old Isni Tishner, the Davis County School Superintendent answers questions about the allegations of racism and bullying her family says caused her to take her own life. We do a significant and, and a very dissecting analysis of, of what could have been missed by us. Izzy's death came just a few weeks after the Justice Department condemned the school district for, quote, serious and widespread racial harassment. Uh, we accept the findings of the DOJ and own that and take responsibility for that. And we feel it our responsibility to change that. Superintendent Reed Newey says he wants to see the district focus on a culture of equity and inclusion. He says 10 to 14 percent of students are minorities. We want to continue to build uh, diversity and uh, have uh, uh, our children see uh, reflected in their teachers and administrators their faces, um, the faces they see at home. When it comes to Izzy's case, board president John Robison says they can't share about direct interactions with her family because of privacy and professional obligations. Extensive resources were provided to the family since enrolling their children. In fact, the family chose to continue having their children attend our schools after moving outside the district. Robison says an independent team will review what happened to Izzy and how Foxborough Elementary responded. Newey says the district will continue to offer extensive training to staff on how to investigate and respond to allegations of racial harassment and discrimination. But it is our job to do all we can to uh, make a difference and try to eradicate it from our schools. The superintendent says the independent team is close to being fully established. There's been a push on social media by some who say he and school leaders need to be held accountable. He says he has no intention to resign. Reporting in Farmington, Emily Tensor, Fox 13 News, Utah.